So my research is really to use a mass spec as a tool to solve issues related to post-translational modification and its relationship to biomedical researchers, etc. So one of the things that we are most interested in is on the system modification, which uh, because of the susceptibility during the redox condition, that it would be either oxidized to sulfonic acid, sulfonic acid, or it could be s nitrosylation So we need to have a good reagent to be able to probe the differential changes under a certain pathophysiological condition. And in our case, it's under hypoxia. In hypoxia, where you have a shortage of oxygen, then you trigger a certain things happening. And then we need to have a reagent so that we'll be able to label the susceptible system and to be able to then go on to do mass spec and then to identify the proportion of it that contain S nitrosylation or S oxidation or glutathionylation, etc. So that is uh, one of the areas that we are focusing on. And that's where the Aldo TMT came in because the Aldo TMT with the tender mass tag on it enable us to do just that. And the main technique is really relying on the biotin switch method in which uh, all the free tile will be kind of a label once, leaving those that is already oxidized unlabeled. Then you use a different reducing reagent like ascorbic acid that you take off the salt as nitrosylation. Then you can introduce the first tag. Then uh, you introduce the DTE to reduce the subsequent, which is the SSG, then you introduce the second tag, and then you combine everything, and then you use a MS spec, MS MS, and then based on the reported iron, you can tell what's the different ratio of a different kind of a modification. So in essence, that's what it is about. One is the fact to more to do with biomedical application, because in the when you have ischemia and then reperfusion there's a lot of damage if you have irreversible oxidation. So people have believed that the s nitrosylation will kick in because it's reversible, and then when the stress over, then it has to return back to the free tile and you go through the glutathionylation. So it enables us to probe the process. And then you also, people know that in that situation, if you put in things like uh, an NO donor, you can actually protect the ischemia reperfusion damage. So that is um, some real application in that, trying to understand the process so that you can actually develop better therapeutics, etc. And then on the other hand, in the, in the basic research aspect, it is a fundamental process in the sense that how cell deal with hypoxia stress how it goes through the cycle from oxidation and then return and etc. How you, I mean, in one system, the same system that's involved in catalytic, in a lot of like caspase, phosphatase, obviously if it's oxidized, then you lose its activity. So it's a temporary thing because you don't want to have it irreversibly damaged. So by having the reversible, then after the stress, it needs to be returned back when the redox balance comes in, it has to return back to the stage. So the process, how it returns, and it's not quite clear yet. So you need to have a tool then to enable to probe that, to understand the very fundamental process of life.